There you go. All right, so a lot of you guys with your magazine bowl are this far. You had um, a rubber band wrapped around it, and you should have written your name. And when you let go, it shouldn't unravel that much. Um, let me put some paper down on this so it doesn't look so shiny. There we go. Um, so this is why we glued that part. As If you guys are at this step, you don't need to add any more glue um, because then we won't be able to get to this step. So this is what it will look like once you've added more. You can see the difference in size. So um, I'll get to that in a second. So you guys should be at the point where you're ready to add stuff to this tail. And I know a lot of people were asking me, uh, does anybody have one made that I can use so I don't have to remake one right now? Or should I review it? I'll review it. What else? All right, remember, we're folding these down, making sure it's even on both sides. Like, just slide your thumbs um, on the paper, and it should even up your corners. Fold it in half. You guys should have cut your uh, magazine paper down to three inches. My cutting board is in Mr. Buckman's room right now. If you need to go get it, that's fine. If you're struggling with cutting, ask for help. We don't want you guys to do anything dangerous. What's the biggest thing that we don't put under the blade? We put paper under the blade, but not our hands. That's right, boys and girls. <laughs> Okay, so it's folded and I'm curving it on the side of the table right now like a dollar bill in a vending machine. Okay, so remember all the curves should be going in the same direction and I like my folds to be also going in the same direction so the folds are all upright on mine. Wait, there we go, now they are. Um, and for your tape, I'm getting like it's a couple inches long. If you have like a really long piece of tape, it's going to stick out funny. So I put a piece of tape down. And I make sure that they're lined up. And sometimes your um, magazine can slide around a bit, so just make sure that it's even on the edges so it looks seamless. Wrapping the tape around like we're swaddling a child. Sorry, that got weird. Okay, and that's how you keep on adding. So then you would wrap it up and roll it around, um, and then you would put a rubber band around it. So some people like to put like five or 10 of these on at a time and then wrap it around your core coil. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of folds out funny. Um, just because this is still really tight of a turn, um, the paper will start to crease oddly. Um, all you have to do is just push it down. And then when you're done for the day, just put a piece of rubber band around it. You can put a piece of paper around it. You can make a little envelope. Like I just folded a piece of paper and stapled it and it says, Mrs. Bill. You know, so you guys can do that to keep your paper. Um, what happens from here once you get more? This coil is really loose right now. I couldn't turn it into a bowl. This one's not the best because the um, this was like a leftover abandoned project. Because as you can see, like she overlapped her paper when she was folding this and taping it together, and it's really wrinkly. So I just like to have it because I don't feel bad about messing it up. If I were to pick this up and turn it from the side, you'd see that it's not all even. So this is um, called winding up the coil. So once you get to this point, and some of you might get there today where you have this much, um, I'm just tightening it by my middle is glued together, and then I'm just pretending I'm a DJ at a really cool club, and I'm mixing some sweet jams. I am not that cool, so I don't know how to do that. And then um, this part is hard for a lot of people. I'm really strong, though. As you can see, it's still coiling. Like, my tail's getting longer. I'm pressing down with my knuckles and, like, my thumb here. And then I'm pulling the outside coils and not pulling it by the tail because it will rip, like such. Um, so this is what making it really nice and tight. And I wanted to show you guys just now how to raise it. So as long as you can... I can squish this and it changes the shape a little bit, makes it ovally. That's not tight enough yet. So we want this to be as tight as possible. It's like making a coil pot in ceramics. You want everything to be nicey nice. So when you're done, and this is an okay size. You know, it's not going to be as big as this, but it will be okay. You put a piece of tape on it so it lines up and covers that up. And then what we do is we start to lift the edges. And if your papers are uneven, they're going to slip off of each other and then it might do that. If it does that, all you have to do is take this piece of tape off at the end. You might lose your last um, paper, and then you unwind it, and then you rewind it back up and tighten it. So um, the nicer your folds are, um, the better you apply your tape, the less likely those problems will happen to you. Um, and it's not very challenging. It's just really building up your fine motor skills and your dexterity, uh, making sure that everything 
is even um, has. Okay. So this is how it lifts. I just rotate it like I'm pretending I'm throwing on the wheel and uh, it starts to grow. So this is what will expose your colors. So again, this middle part here won't be showing a lot of colors because the side of it will um, become rough and then you won't see those. It will just look white like the fiber of the paper. When we're done, we um, paint a light layer of glue, just basic Elmer's glue onto it first. Um, and then we do it on the inside and that seals it together because there's places like this that will fall apart because I pulled up too quickly right there. Also, I can tell that this piece of paper was bigger than the rest. And when that happens, you just push it down, unwind it a little bit, and then I'm just going to take my piece of tape off and try to wind this stuff back up. Now, when I did this with junior high, it was um, a really big headache because this happened to them every 10 minutes, okay? Because they hadn't, oh my gosh. And you guys are awesome. And if you need help, come on up to me. And we should not have our bowls ending up like this because we had to unroll them and untangle them. So just be sure that all of your folding is as nice as you can be. It doesn't have to be OCD perfect though, okay? So I always just pretend that it's like a video recorder. Remember those? No, you don't, because you guys were born in like 2000 something. <laughs> okay, that's it.